this job sucks. I've got a fault for this low temp uh, coolant pump as well as this fan. The fan runs 100%. I've got no AC operation. Um, this is obviously, uh, these are auction cars that come and get sold. I wired into another fan on a known good vehicle, you know, as opposed to, you know, buying one and being wrong. You know, it's nice to have a tester. So same problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chase the Lin bus and the voltage looked good to me, you know, initially. But um, here's what I notice is look at this gap in this bumper, uh, say dumper, bumper, pad, whatever, the gap. I believe it, that it's been in an accident and I'm going to end up just pull this bumper off and I'm going to start digging into it. And uh, I've got to chase, I'm going to chase wiring the Lin bus. The, uh, the diagram itself shows uh, several components. So there's several different LIN buses, and this is gonna be probably tough for you to see, but notice the, uh, the, the tie-in points right there. So it doesn't have some options, so it shows two little low temp pumps. Um, there's one there, the fan motor, etc. But it comes out of this powertrain control module. So, I've got to dig through this one. So what I've done is uh, I've gone into the Lin wire on the fan as well as this circulation pump. Uh, what I want to do also is one we just check for continuity at other other ones. Okay, so we're good there. Now when I come back to the module, the powertrain control module going to be pin 16. Put my glasses on. Bear with me a second. Okay, pin 16 is going to be the lower one. And I don't have continuity there. I don't hear it. Nothing. So it's open. So now what I got to do is what I may do is I may just hardwire uh, just T-tap, since these two have continuity, I'm just gonna T-tap into this one, back to that module, and see what that does for me. Because again, when I go to the, uh, the wiring diagram, it's pin 16, black yellow, that that's, that's what I was at. I can get this computer to move. Okay, there's a tie-in point. That's the actuator motor, radiator, trim flap. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have the shutter. And it doesn't have, I haven't found two pumps. So somewhere within this, there's gonna be a break. But these two, these two have continuity. So somewhere along here, we've got a problem. And I think I'm just gonna make a, a jumper wire and uh, see if I'm on the right track. So initially I had this, this symbol coming up. Let me just turn the AC on, see if that changes anything. But it's not coming up now within messages. But anyway, you hear the fan running constant. There's my fault codes again. Again, communication, and then I had this message missing. The common denominator among these two components is a LIN bus. They're on a LIN bus circuit. Shut the key off. The fan is going to continue to run. I'm going to try to erase these faults. And they don't clear. So there's the fan running. Shut the key off. Now, what I've done is I've got me a jumper wire going into the Lin bus. And look at the fan shuts off immediately. And so I come back. Let me put my key in. And look at that, the fault's clear. So now I know that I got a there's a wiring issue. Where is that separation point? Am I gonna find corrosion? What am I gonna find? But at least I know now that it's it's figured out. It's a wiring issue. The fun let the fun begin. 
So that's how it goes sometimes. So what I'm looking for again, this has been in an accident. Let's find some wires. I'm trying to find this Z splice because I don't have continuity and I found it, but now I've got to determine where is that location at. But you've got, look at all of these other Lin buses that are coming through here. So I believe when I find that, I'm gonna solve a lot of problems. If I can find it, I will. So I have continuity through the car here. This is from this point to the separation point. And then this goes through the vehicle to that side. We're good there. So if I can just get this to stay put. I don't like to do things like this here. Shape the wire back, slice it, but I will be taping it to make sure we're good once I figure this one out. But I just want you to, sh to show you this. I'm gonna go to the opposing side of the vehicle. Poke this again. but I don't have continuity. So that means I got to pull all this out. Now I've done this, I've gotten this far here, but I'm gonna have to pull all of this out to find where is this break? Did a rat get in there? I can see a bunch going on in there with regards to like debris and stuff. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense, but I got to pull all this up out of there to chase that wire. Another thing, so here's continuity from this is gonna be at the water pump. I can go to the fan as well, but on this side of the harness, before it goes across behind here, I have continuity. So obviously that suggests that I don't have continuity on the opposing side through there. So I found it. That's your little Z splice. And that was not in the diagram correctly. I'd never seen this one but you got the small wire. So when I pulled from here, pulled through here, it pulled loose. So I've got continuity. If I take my little poker and I poke, I'm gonna try to do this with my uh, two hands, but I'd like you to see it. Okay, the small one, is so bad but I want to do this for you hear that now I'm gonna go to the other one I'm in it again no continuity so as I suspected I believe moisture got in here got back up in here and uh, just kind of corroded it. So I'll cut this back and we'll look at this together and then I'm gonna fix this and let's see what it does. So you can see the corrosion on these wires. See the discoloration? If this camera was any better. Did you see that? So dielectric grease, heat shrink, and uh, I'll clean this up and recheck my work. So I'm gonna heat shrink that together. But as you see, I'm on one side to the other side and we're good. So there's my wire repair, everything checked out. And then I'm good. Powertrain control unit, everything checked out for me. I don't care about this stuff over here. It starts. I can go back into that powertrain control module. Got a damn glare, but you'll see. Trouble codes, no trouble codes. So we're fixed. Now the fun part, I gotta put all this back together. Shoot, I've been at this all day, but all this has to be put back together. So I hope that helps somebody out. You know, I got a weird way of doing things when it comes to diagnosing things, to figure things out. 
and but it works for me and I hope uh, you learn something and you get these cars fixed and you get paid too.